My name is Gifty Ohino and I'm the head of the Monetary and Valuation Secretariat at the Office of the President. The role is to coordinate and monitor government priority projects and provide uh, timely information about the progress of those priority projects so that decisions could be taken on them, either to improve them or there is a need to, you know, redesign them. We do that. So that's a primary role of my secretariat. Yes, um, we got in touch with Men and Bailey to help us organize this study tour because we felt that there was always, uh, we, as you go along with any program, we need to, you know, um, get new ideas from elsewhere to improve upon what we do. And those, so that is the primary aim of, you know, um, embarking on this study tour, just to learn about uh, systems of other countries, and we chose South Africa as uh, uh, this, uh, uh, we chose South Africa because um, we have you know, um, read about your system with regards to monitoring and evaluation. We think that we could get something out of it to improve our own. So that is why we're so basically we're here to look at institutions and you know dialogue with them and see what we can take home and what they can also gain from us. So that uh, with a mixture of that, maybe we can improve our system and you know, get it moving for the betterment of the country. Well, it's been a very useful tour speaking to various institutions in various provinces. Um, we've learned a lot, especially with regards to the independence of provinces. You see, um, we lump together evaluation, monitoring and evaluation. But speaking to or dialoguing with some of the provinces, we realize that they have drawn a line between evaluation and monitoring, which is very good because then it gives you all the space to do your evaluation and then uh, you know what the outcomes and the um, impacts. So when you do that, you are able to measure the impact, the outcomes going into the impact. And then you get very useful results to either uh, improve on what you, the existing work or to redesign them. So that has been an area that has been very useful and also that the central will provide the general guidelines and then they are free to make adjustment here and there to suit a particular circumstance where they find themselves because we could see that provinces are not in terms of they are not the same they are the same South Africans but in terms of certain characteristics they are different so the center will provide a broad guidelines and then it's up to you to situate your circumstance into that order and come out with something that will be useful for your people so it's it's a very useful thing that we want to pursue going back to Ghana and we might even want to come back again too because one week is not enough to get an in-depth understanding of the system so um, that's why we're saying that this relationship should be a lasting one so we want to come up again to build our capacities so that we'll be stronger and how we uh, we send that book back home to improve our systems again there was something about the presidential hotline which we find very useful because you know monitoring is very expensive monitoring and evaluation they are all very expensive so if you have a hotline 
that could you know, at the presidency that could solicit information directly to the president. That would also help because I think it will be very easy for people and it, it, it's also fast. And then government gets get to know what is actually happening because this is coming directly to the presidency. So I think that is also another useful area that we, we want to look at. And that's why I'll be interested in you know, maybe coming back to know more about how this works. I'm also very grateful to Trina and Bailey, the way they organize this talk. Um, I think that we didn't suffer any hitches. It has been very smooth, moving from one province to the other. And within this brief period, I think we visited how many provinces? About four provinces, which is also good. It's also a kind of attraction for tourism for us, and we have a lot to tell 